In this video, I'm going to cover this keyword topic. So basically, in the JavaScript, this keyword, uh, which is used in a function, refers to the object it belongs to. It makes function reusable by letting you decide the object value. This value is determined entirely by how function is called. So basically, we have four ways how we can to determine uh, this keyword. The first, the first one is implicit binding. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, it. So let's define uh, constant uh, which we called uh, person and it will be an object. So here uh, let's have property name and uh, let it be like maybe, I don't know, Alex, why not? And uh, let's have a function here, uh, say my name, just to print uh, this uh, uh, name to our console. Yeah. Console log. And uh, let's use a, a string here template string here and uh, my name is and uh, let's use this keyword and name so uh, how we can use it then so we can use it by uh, dot annotation uh, we can call it like this and uh, if we will run our script we will see uh, correct string as expected so how it works so uh, in implicit binding way uh, for this function yeah uh, for this function call this keyword will be our uh, object which is uh, on the left side near the dot. So uh, this, uh, uh, our context, yeah, uh, this is our object, yeah, and so uh, we can, uh, uh, in our mind, uh, describe it like for our function call, uh, context, our this uh, will be always the left part uh, near the dot. So to implement, uh, to show you explicit binding rule, uh, let's imagine uh, that our say my name function it exists outside of our person object. So uh, let's call function. Let's have a function say my name here, which uh, uh, console uh, log uh, our uh, string yeah, which is using this name, and uh, for this we need. Uh, explicitly uh, assign context for this uh, function. Each function in JavaScript uh, has a built-in call method by using which we can do that. Call our say my name function using call method and as a context uh, we will use our person object. Uh, if you want also we can comment this part and uh, let's comment this one to prevent any error and we will call our script and we have uh, same uh, expected result so basically by this call uh, we uh, use yeah say my name function then using call method we say uh, call this function using this object as a context so uh, we say by uh, this call that uh, for this function please use person object as our this keyword as our uh, this reference as our context let's uh, comment this function call and uh, let's talk about uh, new binding we need to create a function 
first which will be called uh, person and it will take uh, name as a parameter so basically in this uh, example we need to implement uh, constructor function uh, so uh, we need to define this name property and we will uh, assign this parameter value to our uh, this name and uh, down here let's create two constants like uh, p1 yeah person one and uh, we will invoke this person function using new keyword let's put our alex here and uh, let's have uh, person two and we can call him maybe i don't know john so let's console um, log person one name and person two name and we have expected result we uh, log it to names so basically when we call uh, our person function using new keyword javascript under the hood creates here uh, it defines this like an empty object and uh, here we can uh, assign properties for this empty object so basically before the classes uh, javascript uh, object-oriented uh, programming looked like this we used uh, constructor functions everywhere let's talk about default binding uh, let's comment console log here and uh, we will need our say my name function uh, it's defined uh, on top so basically if we call it uh, without defining uh, any context for this so say my name yeah and uh, let's invoke our script we will see here undefined this uh, function using uh, this uh, value from the uh, global scope so if you will in the browser uh, we could uh, define oh, sorry we, we could uh, define name uh, in the global scope like i don't know something like that uh, but currently we are using node and uh, we can reference to global this name equal uh, i don't know uh, let's call him bob and uh, let's repeat our script execution and uh, we will see uh, bob here if you call this function we have no dot annotation here and this uh, keyword for this function will be referenced to the global scope to the global object and uh, we will try to search this property there if we have this property in the global scope we will use it yeah if not uh, uh, it will be undefined okay let's summarize all those rules have some priorities the highest uh, has new binding then goes explicit binding then implicit binding and after all we have default binding i think uh, this topic uh, uh, is more clear for you now if you have any questions just write them in the comments below if you have some suggestions or advices for the uh, future videos don't be shy and uh, text me as well okay i think that's it and we're ready to go with the next topic